video we're back it's day seven of vlogmas and yeah Whew. dang y'all it's really been seven days and it's just like it's seven days yes it was six today's seven yeah my day was just so off discombobulated but I'm actually going to give you guys kind of a little vlog style. I don't know. I feel like some, most of my stuff has been kind of like vlog style. I've been trying to switch it up here and there because I'm a busy woman. A working woman. So, got to do what I got to do. But I still want to get this out to y'all. But, yeah, y'all. So, I'm going to give you guys kind of like a little vlog. Um, Really in this vlog, I'm really feeling like, you know, Get myself together. I kind of like woke up and just started just lounging around. Haven't really did much. Haven't brushed my teeth. Haven't washed my face. Haven't really did nothing. But I'm fit to, you know, do all that type of stuff. But then also my goal today is to try to revive this wig. So I'm fit to, um, yeah, I'm fit to, like I said, get myself together. And then I'm fit to go um Try to wash this wig. Try to do something because I had I didn't I'm gonna show y'all, but I didn't have this wig for a good minute, and like I never wore it. And I think now it's time to try to do something so I can get my money's worth. Yeah. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a quick second. But before we go to the next clip, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because you know what we're going up, and that's on what. Period. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth. Now we're going to... We're going to come into the little kitchen area. I kind of already got some of the stuff set out. But yeah, y'all. Really just been... Today is my day off, y'all, so I'm really chilling today, which I'm so excited about. Whew, I feel like I never really get a breather, but... So, I got here my washing machine. I said washing machine, dishwasher. Okay, y'all, so... Basically, what's going on here is... I got this wig. I really been trying to get somebody who can help me, like, reconstruct it something... Because it's just like, you know, I pay for this is like 30 inches, 30 inches. And I have not worn this. So I'm determined. So I'm going to the cabins next week. And, you know, I don't have a hairstyle. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to see what I can try to do with this wig. Like, y'all see the vision I was going for? You know, I dyed it myself, but I kind of messed it up. Y'all see? I'm always messing up a lace. But it's cool though. It's my wig. It's my wig. It's my wig. So I'm gonna try to like I said, I'm gonna try to revive it real quick. I know for the first part, I'm going to I'm gonna deep condition it. Y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna I don't got no deep conditioner. I, I was meaning to go get a deep conditioner pack, but I'm just like, I just do not feel like it. So what I'm about to do is, I'm really just gonna put some conditioner in it, for um, put some conditioner in it, and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like five minutes, so it's kind of like warm up, so it can get that type of treatment. Then I'm gonna wash it off, wash it out, and I'm gonna add, then I'm gonna really like wash like shampoo, do do. Then I'm gonna, he um dry it, detangle it, and basically I'm just trying to get it good for when I do try to install it. Because I'm gonna try to install this myself, just not today. I need to get my hair braided down, all that type of stuff. <laughs> because yeah, because if the, if this style don't work for the cabins, my hair will already be braided down. Let's take those little braids out. We go braid out, yeah. I know I might be, I know I look rough like this, but trust and believe. When I got to show out, I show out. Okay, let's try to get this done. I don't 
know what that is. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Did y'all see it? I don't even know what that stuff is. Like, once you see, like, once you wipe it away, it goes away. So I don't know what that is. But, oh, ha! So this is the wig. I'm not gonna do too much on it because like like I said, I have a I like I haven't had this wig for a year. I really wanna get on the lace but know that I know there's like other stuff that you're supposed to do trust and believe it's you like another like conditioner that I use and all that type of stuff but I'm really just working with what I got I'm working with what I got okay y'all I think I got for the most part majority of it if I don't I'm gonna get it and you know, I'm gonna get it. Oop, nope. See the holes in here? Nope. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Like five miles bags that had holes in it. I'm going to tie it. I already put it in the bag. I'm going to tie it. Boom, boom, boom. And then. Oops. I'm gonna put it in the corner. 10 minutes, but this is not even a real deep conditioner for real. Oop. Oop, nope. We're gonna do it five minutes. Start. And now we're gonna warm my wig up. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all in like a few minutes only because my um camera is running a little bit hot and I don't want to do that while I'm filming and then I lose you know footage and stuff like that. So give me like a few minutes, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Y'all kind of seen me do my little turn up session. You know, I went, at first I'm like, oh my God, this hit went so hot. <sighs> really cool. And I'm like, I'm gonna wear some cool water on it. Over here, I can do them. So, that's what we did. So now it's kind of cooled off. But that's what y'all see the wig, y'all. Like, I wonder if y'all seen it in 30 inches. I'm gonna let 30 inches sit in my closet. Cause this wig is like four years old. I never, oh, 
know what this wig. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to start shampooing it. But also, um, during this little segment, y'all, I just wanted to, maybe I should turn my light on so y'all can see me a little better. Yes, so y'all can see me a little bit better. Okay, so y'all, it is the holiday season. And, you know, during this season, there's a thing called seasonal depression. So I really just want to, you know, check in, see how you guys doing. I know I'm going to talk a little bit about myself in a second. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, like, detangle some of this. And the reason why I don't want to go too hard is because, y'all, like, this wig is four years old. And I got this wig from, um, yeah, this wig is four years, like, four years old. And my friend, she made it. And it's like, I don't want to. You know like how like stuff can get like loose and stuff over the years. So it's like I really don't want to go too hard on it. But yeah, these are the products that I've been using. This this legit the only stuff that I have in my container right now. But um I just want to do like a mental um uh, mental health check-in. Because, I don't know you guys, I've been kind of like going through it a little bit, not going to lie to you. Um, in like these past couple of days, not even days, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go wrap up. I'm going to say in this whole month alone, I then lost a few people close to me and, you know, it's very sad and I feel like and it also it was also the my friend who passed away it was her birthday and it's like you know I never thought like I would have like seasonal depression but I really do think that I'm really kind of going through it right now because you know definitely with the loss I just had because this person his name is Al. That's how I, that's what I call him. He passed away. Um, his life was taken away. But, you know, I'm not going to speak too much on that. But it's just crazy because it's like you think you have all this time with people and you really don't. Like, it's so many, like, in my head, it was like, I know for a fact that he loves me. He treated me like I was his own. When he was on the phone with my mom. And you know. I was in the conversation. Always smiling. I was trying to make me smile. That's the type of person that he was. But it's just for me. It's like I'm up here in Georgia. And most of my family is in Mississippi. The only people I have here in Georgia. Is like my is like my immediate family so everybody else is like in mississippi and it's like then on top of me being here i'm a person who don't like social with people like you really got to like hey sierra how you doing like and of course i'll be thinking about people but it's just like i don't be knowing if like if i should check up on them if they're busy what their life is going on because you know shoot i got stuff that i'm going on in my life too and it's like nobody call and ask me if I'm okay and that's fine because at the end of the day I still have to live this life I still gotta do things for me and it's just like it just really hurts when it's like times like this that's when you start thinking let me put my phone on do not disturb because this thing will continue going off yeah I mean, like, too many group chats, and it's going to keep going off. But, um, ooh. I'm going to try to, I'm going to tangle that spray, but it's like, I don't know where I left off that. That's another thing. I start doing other stuff and I forget. I be thinking I know, then I forget. 
But I know I was talking about Al and how I feel about me checking up on people. And I feel like I should do that a little bit more. Like, even if I feel like people are not just still check on people, just so I can say, at least I did it. Because I feel like that's another reason why, you know, some of this stuff is hitting me so sad. Because, like, I don't check in on people how I should. And I don't know just, just because, like, I really don't know where that comes from. I don't know if it comes from, you know, people don't check up on me. And check on me so I don't check up on them. Or what. But I just know I just need to do a better job. Because it's just that, like, when you have that feeling of, dang, like, I wasn't able to say goodbye. I wasn't able to, you know... You know, our last conversation was good, so that's why I'm so happy that, you know, it wasn't no bad intent. I know he loves me. It's just that I just wish I could have did more, you know, to see, I don't know, maybe show like that person know that I love them. But at the end of the day, I hope they do know I love them. I know they're looking down on me. They probably just let me talk about it. So it's like, I know, but it's just, it's crazy. And then it's just like, Another thing, I don't know, I, should, I think I should wait till I'm trying to, I'm trying to see where the thing is. No lie. I think I'm gonna be done. Now I know with the hair, but like, I ain't gonna um, condition this thing. I thought this already conditioned. Mm -mm. Mess the color of the hair away. I don't care. I have to get all this shampoo out was a lie. And I don't even think I even got all the shampoo out. Mm mm. Yeah. Nope. I'll get back to with y'all when I once I put this like on the little mannequin head that I have. Give me one second. Y'all had to take a little break because I was hungry. I know I haven't been well, we was in the store, but we only bought like snacks. Y'all. I'm not gonna show y'all our pantry, but I know I got some wine. I'm gonna do that. They're gonna make me some rice and eggs. I wish I would have some some type of meat, but I know I ate it. Yeah, I don't know that thing caught what I said before it turned off, but I'm gonna make me some rice and eggs. I wish I would have had like some bologna or something. Now that would be that would be a throwback meal. Cause my grandma used to always make that. It used to be eggs, it used to be yeah, eggs, rice, and bologna. That was real good. I don't want to eat bologna like that, but I know I'll tear that up right now if I had some. So I'm gonna make me that, but I'm gonna be right back because when I eat, we can talk a little bit. Cause I wasn't finished with my conversation earlier. I really want to get that out. I got part of it out, but I need to get the rest of it out. But let me cook my fruit real quick. I'm not gonna try to. I'm trying to hurry up because I want to eat, so I ain't, I ain't gonna vlog like this. But just know, it's gonna be smacking. Okay, y'all. I know I said I was gonna stop, but I was. Uh, I was like, uh, I'm gonna just at least start the um, drying process for this. So I'm gonna put this heat protectant. I got some of this. I use this on my hair. Um, I didn't want to do too much. I really just want to just start the drying process. I gotta really do it, so I'm just gonna, for the most part, it's really just drying the top part. Honestly, I'm gonna spray it everywhere. If you hear me, I need you to hear me. 
touching me, I write my heart, my soul will be there one day. We will meet again, again. I just got a call at my father's house. I just got a call at my father's house. I just got a call at my father's house. I just can't find this feeling. I know this part of healing. You never feel like that. Oh, I forgot my Yeah, I had to go out to the car to get this. I miss you already. Why? I'm going all the time. Let me just watch y'all see. Ooh. I'm going to put it all in here. Like, I can just, like, 10 minutes and put it all in here. Y'all think that'll work? We're going to try. Um, not really. I ain't gonna do too much of a little We're gonna see how this works. I was doing, I was trying to um, do something the easy way, but yeah, y'all, I'm finna, sorry, I'm finna let that dry, I'm finna cook my food real quick, I got my eggs, my rice over there, and I'll be back with y'all in a second. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, but yeah, y'all, I ate my food, but, <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> Y'all, once I finished, I just dug in. I was so hungry. Mind you, it's like two, it's like two o'clock right now. I haven't eaten anything. So I did the dryer or whatever, so I'm gonna take it out. I'm probably gonna put you guys on my steak. I really want you guys to see the full effect of everything that I'm doing. And what I'm probably gonna do, y'all, because like I just heard like it just takes an extremely long time to um I'm gonna make her go get back and be like, girl, what did you do? Cause y'all not tell you I'm moving everything around, come using the kitchen. Where's my brush? Y'all see how it looks like when it's done. Maybe y'all can't see like that. I know one thing, I need a thumbnail. I need a thumbnail. I guess I'll get at the end, but I think I still need to like them. Do y'all think if y'all wanna be like right here? Well, I don't want y'all to buy a trash can, so. I leave in here. Oh, yeah. When I'm with you. Yo, this whole time I have not been recording. Yo, I'm so upset, y'all. I just realized I was not recording. I just gave y'all so much real talk. And, oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. So, I guess we got to rewind that back. Rewind that back. 
But um, yeah, y'all. So really, what I've really been doing is brushing this hair. Um, I've been spraying some water on it. Really trying to, cause the goal I'm trying to get to is like really so I'm able to. Like I know this is um, you know I know this is a curly wig, but I'm trying to get to the point to where I wish I think I'm gonna step on it. I'm trying to get to the point where I can just like run my hair through it, like run my hands through it. But look at this color. Y'all don't see, but I have one over here so I can like see what it looks like. It is so cute, the color and everything. I just want to see how it's going to look on me. I can't wait to install it. But okay, y'all, so um, let me run back to what I was saying. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I even finished my thought about like grieving and stuff like that, but um, yeah, I lost. This is a little recap. Like, I lost in these past like months. I done lost a few people, and also with me losing people, it's like you know, of course, it's people anniversaries of who passed away and stuff. And you know, it's just been kind of sad because it's like. I just wish that I could have did more for the people who I truly, 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 truly love. I feel like I'm in a very standstill place where it's like, dang, like, what can I do? I feel like I can't do nothing. I'm not, like, I'm not in that, like, financial stability to even do stuff. So it's just like, you know, it's just really hard. I just feel, like, stuck and feel, I'm not going to feel like a disappointment, but I feel like, you know, it's nothing that I can do. But, you know, I truly love these people. You know, I know in life you you're meant to go. You're not supposed to be here forever, but you know it's just always hard when it's the people close to you. And me, I um, I never really most of my the deaths that hit me really hard. I would kind of say it happened when I was younger. So that type of pain till now, you, like when you're younger, I'm not saying you're desensitized, but you don't really feel the emotions that you feel now. Like, you know, back then, like, yeah, they're not going to ever be here, but it's like, you're younger, you kind of like forget some of the, some of those type of memories and stuff that you have with those people. You know they were important to you, but it's like, mm, like, okay, okay. And I'm not trying to say okay, like, like that, but... Um, but it's like you older you realize like oh my god this person passed away like I'm never gonna be able to see them again I really thought I had time to you know tell you I love you see you again do the things that I wish I could do with you like with like with the person who passed away really recently like he was like my father figure I wanted him to come to my when I graduated college I wanted him to come to my, my college graduation he couldn't come for reasons, and that's understandable. It was COVID too, so like, I didn't even have a traditional graduation. And, you know, it's so many things, like, when I was older, I said I wanted to repay him back, because even though, I'm not gonna say my my, my family was, like, broke or anything, we just, you know, it's just something that my family just wasn't gonna do because they couldn't afford it, and that's okay. My family still always made sure that I had everything, and that's good. Look where I'm at, where I'm at now. I can't be nothing but grateful. But, you know, it's always something, you know, for the people who truly, 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 who have been there for me, and that's emotional, physically, everything. I always wanted to do something to give back to them when I do get to that point in time in life to where I can. And so to know that one of the people who I do care for is not going to be here when I know when I get to that point and they're not going to... Now, I'm not going to be able to repay them back how I feel like I should. It's just that. And definitely on the taste of what happened to him, it's very like I was ripped of that opportunity. But, you know, it's cool. I know he's looking down, and he, I know he, he's very happy. 
with the things that I have accomplished. He always told me that, so that's how I know I can deal with that. Knowing that he know, knowing that I know that he was happy with where I was at in life, even though he he was like about my Instagram pictures and stuff like ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. He didn't approve of that, but you know. That's what a father figure is going to do. You know, they don't want to see you. And a two little skirt and all that. Well, y'all, this is some pictures coming out. But yeah, that's my little take on that. You know, grief is something that we have to deal with. It just sucks that, you know, you wish you could live forever. But you know you don't. And that's what sucks. You never know when is your time. You never know when it's going to happen. It's just unpredictable. That's the one thing that you just know. You know you're going to die. And you just don't know the other details. But if you are grieving, just know that it's going to be okay. Just take it one step at a time. It's definitely hard. I feel like I know, um, you know, grief is just, you know, it, it really is a one step at a time thing. You just have to know, I don't know what you believe in, but at the end of the day, they're up there with God. They're with, they're with their family members. They're in a better place. They're not suffering. They're not in pain. They're living their best dreams now. And that's the only thing that you can really look at and be happy about. There's no, like, deep down, like... Do you not know what's going on here on this earth and what going on here on this earth and then, you know, in heaven, what you hear is the amazing place. And that's the only thing you really have to, you know, have in your head. Like, you know, they're in a better place than here. Even though you want them here physically. Like, and not even trying to, like, you know, like, they're not here physically because you want to see them, you want to be with them, you want to hug them, you want to talk to them, you want to call them. But in reality, you know, this place wasn't meant, it's not meant for us. We're meant to be somewhere else, and that's where they are. And that's what you have to, you know, it's hard, but deep down you have to think that they are in a better place than where you are. <laughs> but with that being said, I'm not going to make this video all down and stuff like that. I just know that it's, you know, it's real life. It's things happening. It's in my life. Like, I'm experiencing it right now. But, yeah. You guys got this biggest turn out. Look at it. Who, baby daddy? I'm going to steal. Ah! I'm kidding. I ain't going to steal nobody with that. Um, nobody with no key. I mean, you got it. That's cool. I try to work with you guys and treat me right, but I ain't going to, you know. I ain't going to deal with a man with kids on that. But on to the next thing, y'all. Speaking of, look, I'm going to say I'm just going to take some of my feet. So, I'm going to to speak a little bit. Uh, on my little dating life or whatever because it's really kind of in shambles. Yeah. I don't know, so this piece wasn't going on. It's just... Yeah, I'm going to find different pieces, but let me actually close up. So, y'all, this year, I really done let a lot of HOE essays go because I just thought they wasn't worthy of my time, of my space, of my energy, of what I give. Because right now, I'm in the era of, I want a relationship. I want a relationship. I want to start, you know, building something with somebody. And I feel like me having all of these people, definitely people who I've been messing with, I'm going to say, a year longer. I don't even mess with you guys. Obviously, you guys don't want a relationship with me. So why am I continuing this? Like, yeah. Like, what are you providing me? Okay, you take me out. You take me on dates. You, you, do, you do this. You take me on dates. You give me D-I-C-K. I, I could do that. I could do that for myself. I, I got I got toys. I got two hands. 
I can provide, I can provide it for myself. I got two jobs. I work, like, you know, I take care of myself. Like, I really do take care of myself. So it's just like, why do I need these men around me who ain't providing nothing? Like, they not providing nothing. Like, nothing. None of them ain't offer to pay my bills. None of them ain't offer to pay nothing. All this stuff. Really, the only thing they really doing is trying to do stuff so they can get their pleasure. So it's like, why keep that around? So I really been trying to really more work on myself, and it's like I'm starting the process now, so that when the new year gets here, I ain't I ain't bringing that type of stuff into the new year. So I done cut cut that out. Yeah, I done cut it out with the people, but. I am, it is one person, y'all, one person I really like, but we not, it's like, we have an understanding, like, we know that we like each other and stuff like that, but it's just like, but for me, we're not committed, like, you, you haven't asked if we was exclusive, you haven't asked me to be your girlfriend, and like that, so it's like, to me, I can really be, I'm really a free agent out here, so, but it then off at the same time, I be thinking like, dang, but I really do like him. And I want to show that I'm serious. But it's like, how can you show somebody that you're serious when, like, you guys already had like, a talk or whatever. Multiple talks at that. Like, hey, about your, you know, what we are. And, you know, I don't know. What you guys feel about that? For, from, where, from what I'm talking about now, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Do y'all think it's weird? I'm sorry. I, I'm really a cute person, but I'm really good. I just want to, you know, this stuff is looking at a little talk. But look at that. Is it going to move? Them? <gasps> look at that. Y'all, this is, um, if y'all really, 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 really know me, y'all, when I was in college, I used to sell hair. And so this hair is really old. So this, like, I bought this hair years ago. Never worn it anything. But look how it yeah, I thought it was Okay. But yeah. So y'all had time to go comment stuff like that. So yeah. But now but it's weird now that like me once me and him established that, that's when it's like other dudes they trying to be on my body. And I'm just like that's crazy. But then it's like, do, am I a fool to not even entertain because I'm not a taking woman out here? I'm not. So it's just like, ugh. It's the decisions. But I feel like God tested me. He tested me. He like, hey, I got some other people out here. I know you, you over here building this connection with somebody, but you know, it's five other dudes out here you haven't talked to and don't know what they're about. But you can see where you continue to, your relationship with this one. See where it goes. Ugh, that's the one thing about relationships. I just wish people would just be just up front. Just tell me. Because I because y'all, I done already told this man. I already told him. But, you know, I'm trying to be patient. You know, some people are not in, like, not where you're at. And then some people who look at things in life totally different. And it's like, I try to understand that. But they're also, at the same time, it's like, okay, how long do I give you grace for you to feel that way? You know? Like, try, like I'm trying to be serious, but you trying to... Whew! Dating is so weird. And it's like, you just got to figure it out as you go. But, you know what? You know who's not going to just stick around and just figure it out? I'm kidding, yes I am. I give you a little time limit. I give you time, but... After a while, it's going to get boring, and I'm going to be like, okay. I'm going to go do my own thing. You come back at me when you're ready. And then I'll be feeling bad, because then, what if they don't come back? <laughs> Am I the problem? Am I the problem? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to really try to um, identify if there's anything else. I see, like, two, like, pieces of hair that's, like, loose. So I know when I have to, when I come back and... Start really playing with it for real, for real. I gotta fix those. So I'm gonna try to make sure that overall the hair is good. Man, I'm so mad this camera turned off, y'all. I had so much other stuff I said. 
I just can't remember because you know that stuff is coming from the heart, from the dome. But can y'all see me in this? Can y'all see me in this? Ah! It's that. Can y'all see me? But this. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get the vision. I gotta get the vision. You can't read the vision because I'm not afraid of trying to be hiding these with y'all. But, yeah. Okay, maybe I do like beef. Okay, you guys. Maybe I do like beef. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, two puppies for you. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? With this. Yeah. Mm hmm. I see it. I see it. I see it. With the dark roots, with the dark roots, I see. But yeah, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Y'all, let's have a discussion in the comments because I really want to know what y'all think. Because your girl is discombobulated. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. But I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I think it's going to be the end of my video because, y'all, I got to edit this, edit this and put it out today. But the wig, I feel like it just needs to dry a little bit more. But, like I said, um, my cabin trip is next week. So, I'm going to most likely install it sometime next week. But I just wanted to really get through the process. I didn't know that even when I try to avoid wedding the like the top part like it's just still like sometimes it can take a day for it to dry so that's why I'm like okay let me just do it now I want to talk to you guys see how you guys are doing and also do kind of like a vlog style kind of most of my videos have been like you know in one place I'm still in one place but I haven't been able to talk like this with y'all but I hope you guys are feeling well, doing well. It is, what's today? Today is Thursday, Friday Junior. And tomorrow will be Friday. And you'll be Liddy at the TV. So yeah. The hair is curly. You know, it's better wet it back. You know, I've been brushing it, but yeah, this hair is so cute. 30 inches. Is it giving 30? Is it giving 30? Or is it giving what? Man, it's so cute. I love it. Can't wait till it's like really dry so I can. I don't know. Y'all think I need to, I don't know if I need to add that other bundle either. Like, even though I know that space is there, but like, I don't think I need to add it. Like, it's, the wig is full. And I don't see like, it's not cracking. And when I mean like crack, like it's no like places where you can see like the lace or any of like, you know, the little piece I showed you. And like, I don't see no, you can see the thread or the lace or anything. So I think pretty good. This looks very good. I can't wait to try to start with myself. Cause I never really start a wig. I never start with a I, well, I, I never just start a successful wig. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna say it that way. But yeah, y'all, I'm really just rambling. If I got any more else to say, we still got more days to go. I trust and believe I'll send in the other vlog. If you guys do comment and you guys really want to have more discussions like this, I could definitely, um, you know, we could always talk and definitely in the comments and I could do it in another video. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next 